Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 8th or thereabouts. Timing is fluid, right? So let's just see what we got. What do we got for the 8th? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we have for the 8th or thereabouts? What do we have for the eighth? Remember, this reading is not sign specific. It may or may not be for you. Bits and pieces even may not be for you. Bits and pieces may be for you. We'll see what happens. Knight of Swords reversed. Ooh, Knight of Cups reversed. So we may have some sort of battle by the looks of things. We may have some sort of battle. Mind versus heart by the looks of things. Uh, huh. there's a relationship that is going nowhere fast, <laughs> honestly. I mean, hey, if something is not headed in the right direction, uh, there's definitely a battle, um, mind versus heart. I mean, looks like we have somebody here that doesn't have anything to offer emotionally, we could have somebody here that is a little bit cold or is very cold. We have somebody here that it is cold, okay? No matter what, we have somebody here that is cold-hearted. This could, could be putting a stop to something. Somebody could be putting a stop to something. Ooh, the Empress reversed. There's no love here and there's no love here. So somebody be, could be coming in and putting a stop to a situation. Which is interesting. Ooh. Might have something to do with mother and child. Because this is a mother and this is a child. But this could be the loss of a child. This is somebody who is on a mission. This person is on a mission. There's dashed expectations here. They may somebody may not be prepared for somebody's arrival. You may not even see them coming. Somebody may be arriving and you don't even see them coming. You're totally not prepared for it. This Knight of Cups reversed is Somebody that doesn't love, okay? This isn't love. It may look like love, but it's not. The Empress reversed is somebody who doesn't take very good care of herself, and she doesn't take very good care of her children. This is a, this is a lack of love as well, so we got a problem here. There's an absence of emotional fulfillment. Okay, there's an absence of love. There's an absence of tender, loving care. We got somebody here that is very cold and selfish. Interesting. We do, we do, we do. Hmm. There's lack of emotion. I mean, there's lack of emotion here. There is. Uh-oh, there's been an injustice. Somebody hasn't been treated fairly. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. There's been a lack of integrity. Somebody's been dealing with an untrustworthy individual. This could be this could be the law coming in. Ooh, there's a higher power involved. This is authority. The high priest is the highest authority of them all, even higher than the emperor. So this is the highest authority. So I'm wondering if there is some sort of authoritative figure stepping into the picture. There's a higher power involved. This isn't love. Interesting. 
Five of Swords. Ooh, there's going to be a conflict. There's a power struggle about to happen. Somebody's about to deal with some adversity. There's going to be some tension on this day because somebody hasn't been telling the truth, obviously. We have somebody here that hasn't been telling the truth. It's like the, the law steps in, and it could be universal law. I don't know what this is well, yet, but this could be universal law. It's like, this isn't right. This isn't fair. There's been an injustice. There is an injustice. This is also karma. Now, this is also severing ties. So there could be some ties that are severed on this day. Interesting. <laughs> Change is on the horizon. Whatever is happening is happening to bring you to a better place. It's happening for your highest purpose, for your highest good. This is the Wheel of Fate, Destiny, and Karma. And we have karma here as well. The wheel is spinning. is spinning somebody in another direction. The page of cups reversed. This is unwelcome news of some sort. Somebody is not... They may not be healthy. Um, this is divinely orchestrated by the looks of things. It feels like we, we have the higher power involved, whether it is... Somebody, uh, you know, could be some sort of counselor. It could be somebody, you know, that it, that has passed away. Or it could be somebody on this earth realm. It's like this is a guidance counselor or some sort of counselor or something like that. Some sort of teacher, some sort of government official even. Somebody may be coming in. To release something, to release, to help somebody to release something. Now this is to break free. This is, uh, somebody is unhealthy. Somebody is unhealthy here. Anyhow, this is, this is break free. This is freedom. Ten of wands, reverse, freeing yourself, making a conscious change. There is a big change that is on the horizon here. Things are about to change, and it is divinely orchestrated. We have this empress up here in reverse that is going to experience some sort of loss. Could be the loss of a child. I'm just, i got to be honest with you. Any reader knows what that is. So, um, it doesn't have to be a loss of a child. It could be... Um, well, what could it be? Maybe she's lost herself. Maybe she's lost her self-worth. Maybe she doesn't know her value. Maybe she doesn't know her worth. Maybe she doesn't know what love is. Maybe she's losing a relationship that wasn't really, really love anyway. Because obviously it really, really, really wasn't love. It really wasn't. There's no love there. And this is severing ties. So I feel like there is going to be some ties that are severed. It may seem like it is unfair. It feels like somebody just just trots on in. They trot on in and they... Cause some sort of major change. This is a change in direction, a change of course. There's going to be some upheaval. Absolutely, there is. Somebody made some poor decisions. They made poor decisions. They weren't very flexible. They were inflexible. They were stubborn. They bit off more than they could chew. And now it's the end of a painful situation. I mean, we have 10, 10, 10. 10, 10, 10. Completion, completion, completion. We have, the, we have an end of a cycle. Something is ending, and I think it's going to end abruptly. It's like it's going to be chaos. All of a sudden, there's this chaotic change. Somebody has been holding on to something that was too much for them to hold on to. It was weighing them down. It wasn't the right thing for them. Somebody made a poor decision here. 
they did. Somebody made a poor decision. I gotta take a drink. <coughs> we have a relationship that is going, it's like this, it's gonna be severed. There's ties that are gonna be severed. They're gonna be severed on this day. Um, there's no love here, okay? There's no love. There's no tender loving care. There's no nurturing. We have somebody here that made some pretty poor decisions. And it's like they've caused somebody to... They've caused some sort of illness or something. Somebody, This is liberation. So somebody's about to be broken. This is freedom. So we got somebody here that is, is about to be broken free from a heavy situation which was weighing them down. It was holding them down. And it's all happening for a higher purpose. The Wheel of Fortune is a purpose. This Whatever is happening, it's happening so that you... Uh, can go can go in the direction that you are meant to go. We have people here that fight change to the bitter end. And we are at the bitter end. 10, 10, 10. We are definitely at the bitter end. I think that somebody is about to face some sort of crisis. Because the hermit reverse is a midlife crisis. Somebody is going to about to face some sort of crisis. They've been resisting. You know, they, they aren't prepared. They really aren't prepared with that three of wands. I think they're not prepared. They are not prepared for what is about to happen. I feel as though um, there's going to be a conflict with the five of swords. Somebody has not been treated fairly. And it feels like there's some sort of truth that is going to come out. And I don't even need the truth card to see that. I feel like... Uh, Things are going to be uh, turned upside down on this day because destiny and karma is playing out and they are changing somebody's direction. And in order to change this direction, we have to have these major completions where well, somebody's been holding on to something that is going to be dropped, is going to be. It's like the universe or a higher power is going to basically force you to let this go. They're going to force you to. They're going to force you to break free from this. This is a divine higher power. Okay? So something is, is going to make you release something that wasn't meant for you. Why is this? This is the moment of decision. Somebody is going to make a decision. There is going to be a decision made and there are ties that are going to be severed with this Five of Swords. Somebody is going to feel defeated. And they're going to feel defeated because they weren't acting in integrity anyway. They weren't being honest. They weren't being held accountable for their actions. They didn't want to be held accountable. They were lying. And it's like now... And now it's like somebody shows up and it's somebody in authority, okay? The high priest is the highest authority. And you take authority however you want to take it. It's like authority shows up and makes a decision to sever ties. I don't know who that is. Um, and it's like there's nothing you can do about it. You can th sit there and think about it all you want. The decision is, is, is going to be made. I know that's what the case is. This is going to allow you to start over and, and leave everything behind. Somebody is going to be removing or some baggage is about to be removed. It's like throwing the baggage off the plane. Once it's off the plane, you're never seeing it again. So I, this is baggage and this is baggage. Leaving the baggage behind. Starting fresh, starting over, starting for the clean slate. We have a major new beginning here after something ends abruptly. I know it's going to end abruptly. Abruptly, It has to do, or it could have to do with a mother and a child. It could have to do with a wife. It could have to do with uh, any kind of relationship. I do feel like we have a relationship that has fallen apart. And there's about to be some, uh, it's like legal implications I'm not sure if I said that correctly it's like somebody comes in and they they see something and they make a sudden decision to um, I 
it is definitely going to be a sudden decision and it's not going to it's going to be out of your control it's like this person has all the authority to make the decision and they don't care it's like they don't care if you're crying they don't care uh what you have to say it's about the facts you know what i mean it's like there's nothing you can do about it there's nothing you can do about it. You made this poor decision. You didn't do the right thing. And now justice is here to be served. So I feel like today is a day of... Uh, it's almost like I feel like being brought to your knees by the law. <laughs> and whether it's God's law or human law or whatever... I, because whenever I see the five of swords, I see that card with a, with a woman on the knee, on her knees. You know, I feel like somebody's going to be brought to their knees. Um, yeah. So we do have a fresh new start here, though, with the fool card. That is a new beginning. It's leaving all the baggage behind, leaving everything behind, starting over with a clean slate. I do see freedom here. Okay, there's freedom for sure. Freedom, freedom, freedom. So this is freedom from a heavy situation. It's like, and this is what the, this is what you know a higher power will do. It will break you free from a situation that you have been reluctant to make the decision yourself. Okay, so I feel like a decision is going to be made. I do. Um, I feel like we have somebody here that is. Um, about to step outside of their comfort zone and right into new territory. I mean, what more can I say? We have a change of course. We have a change of course. Something is ending. And this ending leads to a new beginning where this person is free to do and go wherever they want. You're free. Your responsibilities have been removed. You no longer have any responsibilities. It's like they're being relieved of their responsibilities. So somebody could be being relieved of their responsibilities. Whether it's of being a parent or in their job or this could be a boss whoever it is I feel like somebody is being relieved of their responsibilities let's get one card let's get one more card what's it gonna be what's it gonna be I think we'll go right over here you might be able to see my glasses and my hair but I don't care right here I feel like this person that makes the decision that it's they don't care. Okay, they don't care about your tears. They don't care about what you want. They're basing it on facts. It's like the fact is this isn't good. Creative project. Your soul longs to express itself. I can't even speak. It is Mercury retrograde now, isn't it? Creative project. Your soul longs to express itself in creative ways. We're guiding you to infuse artistry and creativity into your life. Create expression. A creative expression makes you feel alive and excited. It reignites passion towards your life. So anyway, I feel like today we have somebody here that um, may not expect, they may not expect that something is about to end, but it is. It's going to end. It's going to end abruptly. It's going to cause chaos and it's going to cause upheaval. But this is a cycle that is meant to end. It is. It is. 
This is karma and destiny. Whatever is happening is bringing you closer to your life's purpose. Consider this a lucky break. Being relieved of these responsibilities is going to lead you in a whole another direction. It's going to give you the freedom to be whoever you want to be. So anyway, I don't know who this reading is for, but if it's for you, good luck.